Hi friends, welcome back to the Plain Fun RC channel. This is your host, Saul. Quick deviation from the kit builds. Let's talk about nose weight. We all know that there are times with our planes where we need to add some nose weight or even some tail weight, whatever the case may be. And of course, you know, you can get different kinds of nose weight. Here's a couple square lead bars that I have. And then also over here, I've got some um, some bars that uh, where you can uh, stick on. Like here's these uh, great planes. Uh, self-adhesive weights that you can see right there you can purchase those and a bunch of other things you, you can use as well one of the best techniques that i came across and um i'm sure others have done this but I'll, I'll, this is an idea that i came up with but anyway is to use silicone trays now i've got these silicone trays here that i purchased from amazon they're about nine bucks for different sizes and this one's going to be perfect now we're going to be making the weight for the comet the Comet, when it was designed, it really wasn't set up for electric, so the batteries are just sitting here. Had the designer made a hatch here, um, we wouldn't need to add any weight at all, but we do. So fortunately, at least on the bottom, the designer had the foresight to add this little tiny square screw hatch. You can see it right there, and it's got a little tray in there, nothing real big, but just enough to where you can put in some nose weight. So after putting the plane on the balancer, and you're, you're adding weight to the nose as we did here. And then once you get the plane to, to level out or maybe it's slightly nose heavy, that's the amount of weight you need to use. So once you have that weight, then you simply take the weight, okay? And we're gonna set it on our scale here. Good old digital food scale. And of course I've already written down how much weight we have. We're gonna take it, we're gonna turn our food scale on. Give it a second. Oh, I'm sorry, let me do that one more time. I should have uh, actually had it off. Okay, let's try that one more time. Turn the scale on first, and then go ahead and put the weight on. And you can see we end up with roughly about 9.52 uh, ounces. So obviously a little, a little bit more than what was there. But anyway, nonetheless, um, so this is the amount of weight that we need to mix up. Now, when we're mixing, we're using good old lead shot you can get bags of lead shot very inexpensive right off of amazon and all we're doing is we're going to take our lead shot we're going to pour it into the uh, into the mold here and we're just going to use epoxy uh we put down a, a layer of shot a layer of epoxy a layer of shot a layer of epoxy and then once you're done you end up with a wonderful solid block and let me show you what i'm talking about here i have one that i made previously for another airplane One second. Ah, here it is. And you can see it right there. So it works really well. It gives you a very precise weight and it's super sturdy as well. And you can use it in other planes. All right, so let's begin the process. More to come. Okay, friends, as we're creating our lead weight, we've added uh, one layer of, uh, of epoxy, then some beads, then we've added another layer of, of lead shot, I mean not beads, lead shot, and now we're going to add some more epoxy, as you can see. So it's like a layered cake is really what we're doing here. Think of it as a layered cake, and you want to make sure it's really filled in really well, okay? And so just fill it right up. Let me set this down so I can use two hands to do this, and more to come. All right, friends, and there's our lead weight. Uh, 9.42. Now I'm going to double check the weight. I, originally, when I showed you the weight with the uh, with those bars that were there, I forgot to subtract the weight of the uh, of the paper towel. So let me do a quick switch, quick switch here, as we go through and put our bars back on there, just to double check. Make sure the weight is correct. Yep, 9.42, there we go. All right, very good, so we have our weight all made up, so we're gonna let this sit overnight and fully dry. We just used the five minute epoxy, but you can see it made a perfect square, and uh, those lead shot won't move at all, and we've got the exact amount of weight that we need. So, um, and then this will just pop right out of the silicone, and you can even reuse these silicone trays. That's the nice thing about it. So that is the simplest way. Now, what you can do is obviously in this case, we could strap it in on the tray, but you can also bolt it in place. So you can drill a hole through there and put bolts in place uh, through those holes 
for example, that's what we did uh, here on the P3 biplane. Uh, we had to use quite a bit of nose weight on that, and that required that this uh, this particular uh, weight that I made up um, that's in the plane now have holes drilled through. So there is how we can create nose weight using lead shot, epoxy, and silicone trays. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.